Hi everyone, it's Carolyn, and happy May. It's May 1st, and I'm so excited. The sun is out today, and so I thought today we would just draw flowers. It just seems like the right thing to do. So we've drawn tulips before, and we've drawn daisies before, and I think we're going to draw daisies today, but a little different. So let's get started. Now, a lot of times since my hand, since I'm right-handed, I like to start right here at the right side and go this way. But then my hand goes over all of my artwork, and if I'm painting, then that causes a mess. So I try to start on this side and go over, or start in the middle and go on both sides. So let's start on this side. So we're going to draw a daisy a little different than what we did before. And so we are going to draw like an upside down U like that, okay? And honestly, I'm not sure if these are daisies. I'm not really good with, with my names of flowers, so bear with me. Okay, so that's our upside down U. And then we're going to draw the first petal. It's kind of like that. We don't want to go all the way back up. We just kind of want to go like that. Okay, and then we're going to draw the next one, which is like that. Then you can connect these two. Okay, now we're going to draw another one, like that. And then we're going to draw another one, like that. And then the last one we're going to draw, not the whole thing, just like right there. And then once you get your petals done, now I have five petals, but if you come up with six or seven or eight petals, that's perfectly fine. And if you come up with only four petals, that's fine. It doesn't really matter. So once you get the petals done, you come back up and you do like little curves like that. And then you can draw the stem like that. And then another line. So you could put some width to your stem. And then of course I don't know what a leaf looks like for this kind of flower, but we're gonna go with that. And then we're gonna go a line in the center because this is our imagination. So there's, and if you want to, you can take your pen or pencil and you can put little dots there. That's kind of fun. Okay, we're gonna do another one. So we're going to start with the upside down U, okay? And then we're going to go like that. Number the first petal. And then the second petal. And then the third petal. And the fourth petal. And I have a fifth petal. So then we come back over here and do this. And then we do our stem. And then here is a way to do a leaf that folds over because sometimes our leaves fold over. So you do like a triangle. You do one like this and then you do it flat across, okay? So it looks like you cut your leaf in half. But then you come down like this and then like that. So see how it looks like it's bent over? So you bring your one line like this, and then like that. So that's kind of fun. So we do our little dots. Now you can have these bright pink and bright purple and bright yellow. And if you want to, we can do a daisy like we drew before. We'll do a circle. 
And then, because a lot of times I get stuck by, um, if I go around and I kind of um, end up with either a, a little um, too big or too small, one of my petals. So we're going to go, it looks like an airplane thing. Then we're going to go like this. As you can tell, I'm not that great with my words sometimes when I'm drawing. So you go to the opposite side. And then you fill in the spots like this. There you go. So, and you can even do the dot thing in this, which is kind of fun. And then we put our line straight down. And Then I have maybe room for one more. So I'm going to do one more like this, just like these two. And so we do one, two, three, four. And I may even try to add another petal. Like that. There we go. Then. So imagine if you made these purple and pink and yellow, how beautiful that would be. Now we can also make our grass. And all the way across. And if you have a different way of drying grass, you can do that. And let's see, if we want to, we can add the sun because the sun makes us so happy. So, do kind of a scallop design all the way around. See how that is? Remember how I said with my daisy here that it gets one side that's a little big or small, so, but that's all right. So yeah, we can put a little smiley face or maybe even some glasses. There we go. Okay. So very cool. So draw as many flowers as you can and, and send them to your friends and your family and tell them you're thinking about them on this um, May day, so we surely had our April showers, and now we're ready for some May flowers. So enjoy your drawing today. Have a great Friday. Have a great weekend, and I will see you on Monday. And make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel where I'm drawing every day, and you can go back and draw things over. And so, anyway, have a great day.